the good old Quest 2 versus the new Quest 3S. What are the differences and is it worth the upgrade? Let's dive right into it. It has already been a long time since we first got our hands on the highly popular Quest 2. And while at the time it was the most cutting edge standalone VR headset that you could get at such a low price tag, Meta has now released a new VR headset named the Quest 3S that might take that spotlight next. So let's break it down by starting this comparison with the first major changes being the hardware differences. Now while both headsets have the same pearl white color on the outside, you will most likely have spotted the biggest upgrade directly. Because where the new Quest 3S now has two groups of three cameras on the outside, similar to what we see in modern iPhones, the Quest 2 just has four in total built into each corner of the visor. But besides just the looks, their function is also one of the biggest differences between them. Because the original Quest 2 was Meta's first VR headset to be capable of of mixed reality. This means that users could view the outside world from within their headset using these built-in cameras. However, while it might have been the first, it was sadly only capable of displaying a low resolution black and white screen. And that also limited the use cases of certain apps and games drastically. While the Quest 3S on the other hand now has multiple high resolution color cameras that allow for full color pass through and with it a much better mixed reality experience. So while there are already some games that make use of this, it can be especially useful for those who want to use their headset for productivity or other media consumption. And the second big difference in hardware is the included head strap, where the Quest 2 is rocking a single band elastic strap right out of the box. And although this does get the job done, it is still far from perfect, because thanks to this, after a while of using the headset, the Quest 2 can start to feel pretty heavy on your face. And that is also why most people get themselves an upgraded head strap to solve this problem altogether. But the Quest 3S on the other hand has a dual band head strap and while this might not solve all problems it is definitely a great improvement because it makes it so much easier to quickly adjust it as well as to distribute the weight more evenly across the back of your head making it less painful than the old school strap when you're using it for longer gaming sessions but another big change is when we look at the controllers with the quest 2 using their trusty upwards ring design which feels great in the hand and is pretty light as well but the quest 3s takes this up a level with adding in the Touch Plus controllers from the superior Quest 3. But besides its ringless design, they also have much more faster and accurate tracking, which is great if you play a lot of fast-paced games where each second matters. And now while these are all some big upgrades, there are surprisingly also some big parts of the hardware where the Quest 2 still manages to stay equal after all this time. For example, both the Quest 3S as well as Quest 2 are using these same Fresnel lenses that have recently often been taken over by the newer Pancake ones. This can be seen in the newer model Quest 3, as well as the previous high-end Quest Pro. And while the Fresnel lenses used to be the standard, it is the new Pancake versions that have a much bigger sweet spot and less glare. And because of that, it also means that you will have the same IPD adjustment in both the 3S and Quest 2, where you can change the space between the lenses in three different levels, making it sufficient for most users unless your eyes are really close or very far apart of each other. And another important feature is that the Quest 3S does now not have a headphone jack anymore. Instead, it is making use of the built-in speakers completely and while these speakers have some great 3d sound it would still have been nice to have the option to plug in some earphones when needed but that gets us to an even more important part, which are the performance and graphics. With the original Quest 2 making use of the Snapdragon XR2 Generation 1 chip. And while this was a powerful mobile processor at the time, the Quest 3S now uses the newer XR2 Generation 2 chip, which makes it possible to boost the performance of your games to the absolute next level. And another reason why the performance is much better on that 3S is thanks to the 8GB of built-in RAM compared to the 6GB on Quest Quest 2. But while the Quest 3S might have a lot of power, the graphics are not that different, since they are both using the same resolution single LCD panel and in combination with the previously mentioned Fresnel lenses. But the most important thing that we should talk about is of course the games. Since probably the greatest thing about the Meta Quest 3S is that you can play all the VR games that are available for the original Quest 3 as well. That means no more exclusives that you can play on Quest 2 or delayed or cancelled release that are everywhere. This goes from all your mixed reality apps 
to even the bigger VR titles, making this literally a game changer for a lot of users. Because I can imagine the frustration when you finally hear about an awesome upcoming VR game just to be let down that it is not available on your headset. Luckily, Meta mentioned that this will be the case for the entire life cycle of the Quest 3S. But it isn't just for the games, because this is also the case for all future software updates whenever there is a new feature unlocked. Like for example, upper body tracking or leg estimation, making sure that you will get it at the same time as other Quest 3 users without any exceptions. But that gets us to probably the main reason why people are interested in this headset, which is the price. With Meta going all in and aggressively pricing this headset at $300, which is the exact same thing that they did with the original Quest 2 launch. And these $300 will get you the 128 gigabyte model with the option to get the 256 gigabyte model at $400 instead, which could be useful if you need that extra space for some big VR games. However, taking into account that a lot of time has passed since the Quest 2 got launched and that the tech has gotten so much better, this price tag came as a quite pleasant surprise. And even more so when you look at what comes inside the box. Because next to the headset, you will also find the Touch Plus controllers with two AA batteries, a glass spacer, a charging USB-C cable and power adapter, and your start and safety warrant. But that is where it gets even better. Because just like with the Quest 3 launch that included the big promotional game called Asgard Draft 2, the Quest 3S will now also include the highly anticipated Batman Arkham Shadows game as well. And Meta also throws in three months worth of Quest Plus, which will give you loads of different VR games that you can play directly from the start. And on top of that, as a bonus, I left a link in the description below that next to all these games will give you $30 of free store credit when you buy your headset that you can spend however you like. So make sure not to miss out on that. But that gets us also to the final conclusion, because the Quest 3S is the new headset that is going to eventually be replacing the good old Quest 2. And while both are absolute amazing VR headsets, the Meta Quest 3S now got some really big upgrades. From the color pass-through cameras that let you finally play some high-resolution mixed reality games, to the new controllers and insanely powerful chipset, while also making sure that you can play all the VR games that you want without ever having to worry about missing out on exclusives. And all that while Meta puts it at the insane price tag of $300. And that's not even talking about the free Batman Arkham Shadows game, as well as three months worth of Quest Plus and the extra $30 of store credit that you can get with the link below, making this upgrade instantly worth it for almost all Quest 2 users. So if you still own a Quest 2 at the moment, it might also be smart to try and sell it now that the price is still pretty good and get your hands on this newer Quest 3S. However, if you really want to get the best VR experience possible, then there is also an option to upgrade directly to the original Quest 3 instead, which has a higher resolution screen and even better lenses. So if you haven't already, make sure to check out the comparison of the original Quest 2 with the new Quest 3S in the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out. And of course, stay awesome.